It may not be the fastest, most powerful, or most aerobatic fighter jet. On paper, its performance specs might seem average compared to other fourth and fifth generation fighters. However, the Gripen E is considered a game changer. Why? Well, for its advanced smart technology and innovative design. Saab, the renowned Swedish company, has created a fighter that is agile, cost-effective, and intelligent, embodying Sweden's strategy of countering threats with smartness rather than sheer force. With the ongoing Ukraine war and Sweden's entry into NATO, this jet could play a pivotal role. Today, we'll see why. Let's begin with a bit of history. The Saab Yas-39 Gripen, a modern multi-role fighter aircraft, was developed to replace Sweden's aging fleet of Saab 35 Draken and Saab 37 Vigen jets. The need for a new aircraft emerged in the late 1970s when the Swedish Air Force sought a more advanced and versatile fighter to enhance its defensive capabilities. In 1979, the Swedish government initiated studies to develop an all-around platform capable of performing various roles, including aerial warfare, close air support, and reconnaissance. This need was driven by Sweden's strategic defense requirements and the necessity to counter a potentially aggressive neighbor, particularly in the context of the Cold War and the proximity of the Soviet Union across the Baltic Sea. The development of the Gripen was led by Saab, the project saw collaboration from several key industrial players, including Saab Microwave Systems, Volvo Aero Corporation, Saab Avatronics, and FFV Aerotech. The industrial consortium known as the Yaz Industry Group aimed to create a cost-effective, highly capable fighter jet suitable for Sweden's unique defense strategy. The first prototype of the Gripen flew on December 1988. However, the project faced significant challenges particularly with the flight control software. Issues with the fly-by-wire system led to the loss of two prototypes, causing delays in the development timeline. Despite these early hurdles, the Gripen was declared combat ready in late 1997 and officially entered service with the Swedish Air Force. The initial order included five prototypes and 30 production aircraft, followed by a second batch order of 110 aircraft in June 1992. The Gripen's entry into service marked a significant milestone for Sweden's defense capabilities, providing a modern, versatile aircraft designed to operate effectively from dispersed locations and short runways, a key aspect of Sweden's defense strategy. Just a quick moment before we unveil the rest. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. Stay up to date and never miss out on the latest insights. And now, let's go on. Although this jet has not seen extensive direct combat, it has participated in numerous international military exercises, consistently demonstrating its advanced capabilities and versatility. One of the most notable exercises involving the Gray Pen is the Red Flag Exercise, held in the United States. In 2006, the Gripen participated in its first Red Flag Exercise at Nellis Air Force Base. During this initial outing, it achieved a remarkable record of 10 wins and zero losses against other participating aircraft. This impressive performance highlighted its advanced avionics and maneuverability. In another red flag exercise in Alaska, a Gripen pilot managed to take down five F-16s in simulated combat, further demonstrating the aircraft's combat effectiveness. Additionally, during the Loyal Aero exercise held in Sweden, a single Gripen pilot successfully engaged and defeated two F-15Cs, while forcing a third F-15C to retreat. These exercises emphasized the jet capability to compete with some of the most renowned air superiority fighters in the world. Let's now go through the features of the early Gripen models. The initial versions Yaz 39A and Yaz 39B were designed as a single-seat fighter and a two-seat variant, respectively. These early models are now primarily used for training. The Gripen AB models feature a delta wing and Kennard configuration, providing excellent maneuverability and control especially at high angles of attack. This design is complemented by a fly-by-wire system, which replaces traditional manual controls with electronic signals, enhancing both stability and handling during flight. Powered by the Volvo RM12 engine, a variant of the General Electric F404 engine, the Gripen AB models deliver reliable performance and fuel efficiency. The PS05A radar system, developed by Ericsson, offers robust tracking and targeting capabilities. Inside the cockpit, 
The EP17 electronic display suite includes multifunction displays and a wide-angle head-up display, providing pilots with crucial flight data and target information. The subsequent models, 39C and 39D, introduced several significant upgrades. These improvements include color cockpit displays, an onboard oxygen generation system, and in-flight refueling capability. These features extend the aircraft's operational range and versatility. The C is a single-seat aircraft, while the D is a two-seat version. Both models are versatile multi-role fighters capable of performing a variety of missions, from air-to-air -air combat and air-to-ground attacks to reconnaissance. They are equipped with advanced weaponry, including the AM-120 AMRAAM, AM-9 Sidewinder, and MBDA Meteor missiles for air combat, as well as various air-to-surface missiles and bombs. Building on the strong foundation laid by the early models, the latest version, the Gripen E, incorporates significant advancements in technology and performance. Powered by the General Electric F404G turbofan engine, it delivers greater thrust and improved fuel efficiency. This powerful engine allows the jet to achieve supersonic speeds without using an afterburner, enhancing both its endurance and operational range. The jet is designed to carry a wide range of modern weaponry, supported by its 10 pylon stations. This flexibility allows it to mount reconnaissance pods, weapons, and external fuel tanks, adapting to various mission requirements. Its armament includes the IRIS-T short-range missile, the Meteor Beyond Visual Range missile, and various air-to-surface missiles such as the RBS-15F and Taurus KEPD-350. The aircraft's internal fuel tanks, with a combined capacity approximately 40% larger than those of the older Gripen models, benefit from the relocation of the landing gear to the inner wings, which optimizes space and enhances fuel storage. A standout feature of the Gripen E is its ES-05 Raven Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA, radar, which is mounted on a swash plate. This radar system offers a wide field of view and the ability to track multiple targets simultaneously, providing pilots with a significant tactical advantage. Complementing this system is the Skyward G Infrared Search and Track IRST system, which can detect and track enemy aircraft without emitting signals, making it difficult for adversaries to detect it. The aircraft also boasts impressive electronic warfare capabilities, including the ability to jam and spoof enemy radar. It features towed decoys that can lure away radar-guided missiles, making it a formidable opponent in electronic warfare scenarios. However, one of the most innovative aspects of the E-version is the integration of human-machine collaboration, HMC technology. This advanced system combines multi-sensor capability and decision support with a future-oriented cockpit design. It is equipped with numerous sensors that continuously gather data on various parameters such as friend and foe identification, fuel levels, flight data, and potential targets. This information is processed and presented to the pilot in a simplified, intuitive manner, allowing the pilot to focus on critical aspects of the combat situation without being overwhelmed by information, thereby enhancing situational awareness and decision-making. Additionally, the jet features a collaborative network that allows multiple Gripen E fighters to share information in real time. This networked approach enables pilots to see what their colleagues see, creating a shared situational awareness that enhances team effectiveness. It can also collaborate with other aircraft types, such as Global Eye, and integrate with ground troop systems, further amplifying its combat capabilities. While the Gripen E's advanced technology and capabilities are impressive, Another critical factor is its cost-effectiveness, which makes it an attractive option for many air forces. The acquisition cost of the aircraft varies depending on the model and the specific configurations requested by the purchasing country. For instance, the latest model, the Gripen E, has an estimated price of around $85 million per unit. While this is slightly higher than some other modern fighter jets, such as the F-35A, which costs between $80 million and $83 million per unit. The advanced features and long-term benefits of the Gripen E often justify this initial investment. One of the most significant advantages of the Gripen is its low operational cost. The E version costs about $8,000 per hour to operate, which is significantly lower than the $40,000 per hour for the F-35 and the $22,000 to $27,000 per hour for the F-16. These low operating costs are due to the Gripen's efficient design, which requires fewer maintenance hours and less fuel consumption. The Gripen is also designed for ease of maintenance and operational efficiency. 
It can be rearmed and refueled quickly by a small team, and it is capable of operating from short, dispersed runways, including highways. This capability reduces the logistical footprint and costs associated with deploying and maintaining the aircraft in various operational environments. With Sweden's recent entry into NATO, the alliance not only gains a new member, but also significant strategic advantages. Sweden, despite its small population and modest defense spending, has developed a world-class military-industrial complex. This includes advanced ground and air combat capabilities, nearshore and undersea warfare expertise, and proficiency in cold weather operations. The Swedish military employs a range of modern equipment, including the Archer Artillery System, CV-90 infantry fighting vehicles, conventional attack submarines, and the Gripen. The Gripen, in particular, is a crucial asset for NATO due to its modern electronic warfare capabilities and high readiness for expeditionary operations, limiting Russia's ability to target aircraft on the ground. Interoperability is also a key advantage. Fully compatible with NATO standards, the Gripen integrates seamlessly with other NATO forces, ensuring smooth coordination during joint exercises and missions. This compatibility is essential for maintaining a cohesive and effective defense strategy across member states. In March 2024, just days after joining NATO, Swedish Gripens conducted their first visual identifications over the Baltic Sea alongside German and Belgian aircraft. These missions involved intercepting and identifying Russian military planes, demonstrating the deep integration achieved with NATO air policing forces and the smooth interoperability that supports safeguarding NATO airspace over the Baltic Sea. Consider its strategic role. The Gripen's potential deployment to Ukraine has been a focal point for defense analysts, alongside the supply of F-16s. A report from the UK's Royal United Services Institute in November 2022 identified the Gripen as the most suitable Western-manufactured combat jet for Ukraine. Designed to counter Russian fighters, the Gripen offers a structural and tactical edge over Russian models like the Su-30 and Su-35. Sweden's aircraft design emphasizes versatility and rapid deployment, aligning well with Ukraine's needs. The Gripen's ability to operate from dispersed locations with minimal ground support is crucial, especially given Ukraine's vulnerability to Russian missile attacks on airbases. Unlike many Western fighters that require extensive infrastructure, the Gripen can function efficiently from hardened runways, reducing the risk of being targeted and enhancing Ukraine's defense posture. However, in late May, Sweden announced a pause on plans to send Gripen jets to Ukraine, prioritizing the delivery of F-16s instead. This decision was influenced by NATO allies' requests to avoid introducing two new fighter systems simultaneously and to focus on integrating the F-16s into Ukraine's air force. Despite this pause, Sweden has not ruled out the possibility of sending Gripens in the future. This announcement came alongside Belgium's agreement to supply 30 F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine by 2028. For now, it appears that the Gripens' deployment to Ukraine will be on hold but its potential remains a significant consideration for future defense strategies.